Hey guys, so we're uh, we're here at Americade. Uh, we just pulled in Americade 2016, and. Uh, I thought I'd do a quick little review for you. Now this review will take place over the whole week. Uh, you'll see it in one video, but it's for my new shoes that I got. I actually ordered them and had them delivered into Ogdensburg, but picked them up on our way down here. So um, I don't have the box or anything because I couldn't find a place to fit those on the bike. So here they are. Um, they are the Speed and strength. What are they called? I can't remember what these ones are called. Run with the bulls. Run with the bulls by Speed and Strength. So I've never had a pair of motorcycle runners. So uh, pretty excited to wear these. I always have boots, and I found that, especially if I'm walking around, that my feet get really hot. So my hopes are that, because I'm here at America and I will be doing a fair bit of walking, that I can wear these to try them out. So a few things: genuine leather. Uh, speed and strength, you get a whole bunch of little follow us on Twitter, etc. etc. Um, Run with the Bulls Moto Shoes, perforated leather and textile uppers, engineered external. Uh, I don't know what PU protector means, whatever. Molded ankle protection, toe and ankle reinforcements, undercover lacing system, and anti slip rubber soles. So, um, as you can see, well, you won't be able to see what these are reinforced. The ankles are reinforced on both sides. And uh, I'm gonna give these a try. I'm gonna wear these hopefully whenever it's not raining uh, while we're here. So, there they are. Speed and strength, run with the bulls. Uh, I picked them up, they were on clearance for like $80 US, so uh, we'll give them a try. And uh, I'll tell you at the end of the week what I think of them. Okay, so just so you guys know, uh, I'm a size 10, usually in and around, anywhere from a nine and a half, ten and a half. So I ordered a 10. They are perfect, dead on. Uh, I wouldn't want them any smaller, wouldn't want them any bigger. Um, they fit really good. Um, so kind of some cool features I didn't really, didn't really know about. So they lace, which I guess is something that motorcycle boots do. Um, they lace on the inside so that there's nothing gets caught, right? So basically you lace them up, and I just folded the loops down and then I put the velcro over top to keep them snug there. But yeah, so far so good. Again, I'm gonna go out and give these a walk for the week and uh, see how I like them. But so far, just kind of walking around the room, very happy with them. Okay, so it's been about three weeks since I picked up the uh, Speed and Strength. These are the Run with the Bull shoes. And I've been wearing them a lot. Uh, I've had a chance to wear them through uh, pretty hard rain, really you know, hot days, nice cool days. Um, and they're a great, I would say a great overall shoe. You know, I've worn them, worn them off of the bike, on the bike, and even off the bike, I've been able to wear them for hours. And they're pretty much like a high top. Uh, again, they're going to be a little bit stiffer than a standard high top would be uh, because of all the reinforcements in the, the toes and the ankles. Uh, but a lot of grip, a lot of support um, on hot days. They do help keep your feet a little cooler. Not that they're going to be cool, cool, but definitely cooler than riding boots. And when I got caught in the rain, um, definitely not waterproof. But again, they held out better than I thought they would, especially over, let's say, like a canvas runner or something like that. But not, not as good as a, an actual riding boot or a waterproof boot. But for the price, again, I paid, you know, $85 about for these. Uh, great investment. Really happy I have them. And uh, if you can find a pair of these for, in, for somewhere in that price point, I think you should go for them.